Hello everyone. Uh, I guess it's been a while since I've, um, well, actually spoken to uh, you guys. In fact, it's been so long that, well, I don't know. I kind of feel like I've forgotten how to uh, make these YouTube videos and say hi to people. I'm sorry. I know I pace around all the time, and I know you told me to not do it uh, in several videos, but I just can't fucking stop. I got so much energy. I don't know what the fuck it is. Uh, anyway. This video, um, yeah, I don't know, it's gonna, oh, it's fucking lame, why would I put this on YouTube, oh, fuck, I'm gonna do it, I just need to get it out of my head. Basically, I guess it's just an acknowledgement that I can look back on, uh, and just remember the, uh, I don't know, the kind of things that my girlfriend has, uh, done for me, because, you know, I acknowledge her a lot to her, but, you know, I don't really think about what she, well, I do think about what she does for me, but I'd like to, you know, Maybe things will go sour with her one day, or, you know, maybe they'll go really well. But either way, I'd like to look back on uh, what she did for me so I can have good memories, regardless of whether it, you know, goes well for us guys or not in the future. And, um, yeah, just basically, all, all I want to say, really, is that, you know, I've had a lot, well, not a lot of, relate, well, I've had a lot of, uh, like, one-night stands and semi-relationships, I guess. I've had a shit ton of them. And, you know, a, pff, fucking what? Three other serious relationships, sort of, I guess. With uh, other women, so... Yeah, I don't know, I think it's good to note this one. And actually, this is the best relationship I've ever been with. I finally uh, found the girl I want to be with. Um, she supports me in pretty much every aspect of my life. Uh, yeah, I pay... <laughs> most of the money I get on food for us and a few things for us but you know I'm living with her and she helps me out in her own little way I guess you know she's quite she's quite good to me she's quite good to me and yeah I don't know it's just I guess it's just the little things as well like yeah I don't know just uh, just I don't know she just does little things for me like uh she buy me little gifts every now and then. Uh, she makes presents for me. And I don't know. I think the main difference with her is that... With a lot of my other girlfriends who were together. And they, they never really supported me. They never really... Sort of thought of the long term. They were never really prepared to take a risk for me. Um, both of the ex-girlfriends I mentioned on the video. I miss my exes. Uh, neither of them were prepared to move to a different country for me. Uh, you know, they were too focused on themselves. They weren't really willing to do it, they wanted me to go do that and wait a few years, see if it was alright and then maybe maybe get back together, they, they they weren't really interested in that long term plan and I mean, they can defend themselves and say the opposite all they want, I I was there, I know the reality um, you know, she's prepared to take that kind of risk for me, she's prepared to come to England with me prepared to marry me, um, yeah, I don't know um, she understands that every day of a relationship isn't uh, it's not sunshine, sunshine in heaven. Um, you know, men don't have unlimited amount of resources. I can't take her out and do romantic things every day, and uh, I sort of feel like my exes didn't really understand or care about that. And yeah, it's interesting being with someone who actually genuinely uh, wants to spend, uh, you know, the rest of the life with you. Because, and and they're completely sure of that because. Uh, I don't know, it's just that sort of thing of like, before in a lot of relationships I didn't commit because I just knew it wasn't worth it, I knew like, uh, there wasn't a real tangible future and it were either too young or, we, it just, you know, there just wasn't the commitment there, you know, there was sort of a feigned idea of commitment and these emotions but there was no real substance to, to uh, these relationships as such and I feel with her, uh, I don't know, a, a sense of fulfilment from her just being a little bit happy. Sometimes uh, I'll be down and she'll tickle me or whatever and uh, she makes me laugh. It's quite a unique thing. There's not many women who do make me laugh. I mean, there's probably four women in the world who make me laugh. There's my mother, my sister, uh, my cousin in Australia and uh, my girlfriend here. Um, that's awful to say. You know, I'm not saying women aren't funny, but... I just, I only find these four women funny, for whatever reason, so, you know, she's on a pretty winning formula there.
And yeah, I don't know, you know, she she cooks for me, does all this stuff, and she she doesn't have to, like, uh, I, I don't force her to either, by the way, before anyone you know, says, oh, 1960s marriage kind of shit. You know, I, I offer to cook, she just, she knows I cook shit meals, because I'm studying and I just can't be bothered, and she'd rather, you know, she'd rather cook for me. I, I like, if she, if she goes to work and doesn't cook for me, I don't have a go at her, she, she's got work, like, it's fair enough, I'll, I'll just cook my shit and... Just eat shit, basically. I don't mind. Uh, but she does, and I like that about her. And I also, I don't know, being with her and her being this way and, you know, just the understanding she has, the want to have commitment. It's a lot easier for me to um, be nice to her. Like, I... Uh, oh, do I have one of them here? I, might, I do, like, little... Um, little pieces of paper cutouts, basically. So, like... I don't know. I have paper cutouts, a lot smaller than this. Just small little cutouts. I can't find one. Why can't I find one? There's fucking loads of them in this room. Ugh. That's why she can't bloody find them. She doesn't know where they are. Anyway, I do these little cardboard cutouts, and I put in Spanish and English. You know, I love you, and just just so every now and then she'll come home and she'll find one every now and then, or she will be together and she'll find one and. You know, she could always see that it's just a nice little thing. Stuff like, you know, I, I love you, don't forget it, that kind of thing. Uh, Nunca te olvides, never forget it, nunca te olvides. And, yeah, I don't know, it's just it's just nice. I feel that romantic spark and, I don't know, I feel sort of like, I feel like I, I'm willing to put in the effort to know her to understand what would make her happy, to make her happy with that, because she's willing to do the same. Like, for example, I can put I love you in Spanish and English on a million of these, and it's always nice. But, you know, it's not that person. I could do that for any woman. That's generic. But I know she likes German, yeah? So I put a few of them in German. I put a few in French as well. And uh, also, um, what was, what language? Oh, Bulgarian, or Bishamte. I put a Bishamte, a Bishamte. And then on the reverse, I put, you know, what it means in in Spanish or English so that she can understand it. And also, you know, sometimes, like, ah, that's it. I wrote these files for a couple of days back. I, did, I didn't need to. But it just, I don't know, I just wanted to do it to make her happy. I didn't buy them for this video, by the way. I didn't plan to do this. I just, I genuinely did it to make her happy. And, you know, she does the same for me. It's nice. I don't have that pressure, like... She knows I'm not Mr. Rich. She doesn't force me to do shit for her. She's happy with what she gets and I'm happy with what I get from her. And for that reason, uh, I feel like I want to do more because I'm already sufficient as a person for her. And yeah, I don't know. Just, I just want to express uh, how grateful I am uh, to have someone like that. And, you know, she also actually, she really motivated me to uh, do these university studies because before... and. You know, if you were to ask my friends, who you don't know in real life, they would vouch for that. They would vouch for the fact that really beforehand I was just sat around, you know, my family's house, just not really doing much, making these videos. You know, this this kept me occupied for a while. I wasn't really moving forward in terms of career or in terms of like uh, fulfilling sort of aspirations of mine. I, I've always wanted to, well, no, I haven't always, but the last five or six years, uh, I've really wanted to understand technology and sort of the, I don't know, the future of like how technology is going to move. And for the last year or so, I've wanted to study uh, computing and such, and I haven't had the confidence or the motivation. And, you know, she she said, oh, you know, you've got to take a career that you want to do. If you want to support me and get a career, you have to do something you want to do. And I said, okay, well, look, I want to do this for three years and we're not going to have much money whilst I'm studying because you know, I, I, I get my money and I can't do much more because I'm, I'm, I'm doing the studying so much. And she said, that's that's fine. We'll do this for three years. I'll work and I'll do that. And the, there's only two people in the world that could have actually motivated me to study this, right? Um, you know, that's her. And actually, uh, my friend Jack, uh, he knows exactly who he is. He might be watching this video. I'm not going to presume he is. And the reason for that is, you know, she genuinely loves me and is a genuine person. 
I don't know if he loves me. I mean, I'm pro I think he does, as vain as that sounds. Just, I, I fucking love him. He's he's a bro, you know. He's a he's a real good guy to me. Um. But yeah, it, it's because she genuinely loves me, and she she would wanted to see me do that for me, and for that reason, I feel motivated to do it with her. And you know, it kind of came under the circumstance of realizing this person was genuine, shitting myself because I've never really had this before. It was, and I'm like, you know, I usually just dump people and just keep traveling and what the fuck's going on. And I thought, you know what, I've got an opportunity now, so I'll take it. And that that motivated me to learn this. And Jack, uh, Jack on the other hand, you know, he's just a really, really good friend. You know, we just play game. We used to play games together a lot. I used to go around to his. I'm, I'm sure a lot of the times I demotivate him sometimes because uh, he's not always in the best of moods or it wasn't when we we're hanging out. And, uh, you know, we weren't always probably good for each other, but it was it was nice to see him. And he was someone who actually, I feel he actually understood me. Uh, even when I annoyed him sometimes, I think he understood me. And he's a very genuine person. And he uh, tried to be genuinely good to me. And if, if I hadn't have got with my girlfriend, realistically, uh, I would have probably moved into a place with him. And we'd either have traveled the world or we'd probably have eventually done this course together slowly, slowly, uh, without outside pressure. And we'd have done it as brothers who, uh, you know, want, want to do that, if that makes sense. So my friend Jack... Uh, is the only other person who could have motivated me to do this course, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Which is probably not the person who'd be expected, but yeah, that's the truth of it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just grateful that I've got someone like that. Um, it's it's like I have a friend that I'm with. Uh, you know, gen gen generally, uh, I don't know, because my ex, my ex in Australia, you know, she was actually interested and I did do things with her that I enjoyed and I, I did enjoy her company but a lot of my exes to be honest uh, just didn't enjoy they were just no offence but generic women and me as kind of I don't know a guy who just in computers and this that and the other you, you just don't find this many women like this or who are interested in what would be seen as generic m male activities like uh, I often find a lot with like a lot of my ex-girlfriends I wanted to go shopping or go to the beach and I just I just found it boring back then and I found a lot of those activities boring like talking to the family and the friends it just I don't fucking care you know <laughs> that's that's just that's just the honesty of it and you know she still does her thing and I say you know I'm, I'm not interested and she'd be like okay and I do the bare minimum of it for her family and she's okay with that but we also do cool stuff, you know. We actually do real activities that we both enjoy. So, yeah, it's nice having her. That's that's all I wanted to look back on. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. D doesn't matter if you watched it or enjoyed it, because I'll look back on my life uh, at a different point. And, uh, yeah, see you in another video, maybe. Bye.